Welcome to class number 11 of the Leaving Cert Ordinary Level Algebra course, where you are going to solve literal equations. In these equations, you are going to isolate a particular letter and write it in terms of all the other letters. Example 1. Given that AX plus B is equal to D, express X in terms of A, B and D. If A is equal to one third, B is equal to two fifths, and D is equal to a half, find the value of X. Get the term with X on its own. Move the plus B term across where it changes sign. Now isolate the X by dividing both sides by A. Substitute the given values into the equation. Everywhere you see a letter, replace it with a bracket and fill the bracket with the correct value. You can work it out yourself or use a calculator. Do both. Multiply above and below by 30. This will get rid of all the little fractions. 30 by a half is 15. 30 by minus 2 fifths is minus 12. And 30 by 1 third is 10. The answer is 3 tenths. Input the values into your calculator. You get three tenths again, verifying your own calculation. Example 2. Given that 4 times xy minus z is equal to 3z, express y in terms of x and z. Get the term with y in it on its own. Multiply out the brackets. Now isolate the 4xy by moving the 4z across. Isolate the y by dividing both sides by 4x. Example 3. Given that 5x minus 3y all over 2y is equal to z, express y in terms of x and z. Get the term with y in it on its own. This occurs in two places. Multiply both sides by 2y to get rid of the fraction. Bring all the terms with y in it to the right hand side. Factorize the right-hand side by taking out y in common. Divide both sides by the bracket, 2z plus 3, to get y in its own. Example 4. Given that a over b plus c is equal to d, express b in terms of a, c and d. Get the term with B in it on its own. Multiply right across by B to get rid of the fraction. Bring all the terms with B in it to the right hand side. Factorize the right hand side by taking out B in common. Divide both sides by the bracket D minus C to get B on its own. Example 5. 
Given that t equals 2 pi times the square root of l over g, write g in terms of t and l. Get the term with g in it on its own. g is inside a square root. You need to square both sides to expose the g. Multiply both sides by g to get rid of the fraction. Divide both sides by t squared to get the g on its own. That's the end of the class. Have a look at the demonstration examples, and when you think you are ready, do the exercise worksheet.